All right, so let's see if we can't tackle questions 9 and 10 in, uh, in a single video here. And both these questions are, uh, just like number 8, we are deciding whether the pair of lines is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's go ahead and take the two equations that they've given us and put them uh, into y equals mx plus b, into slope-intercept form. So here we have 6x plus 2y equals 8. And if we're going to go ahead and put these into slope-intercept form, let's go ahead and write what that form is here at the top. So, and of course, just a quick review, when it's in this form, m is our slope, and b is our y-intercept. And of course, the only thing we're concerned about since we are asked whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or, or neither, is this m value, right, our slope. So solving now for y, let's go ahead and Subtract 6x from both sides, and that'll give us 2y equals now negative 6x plus 8. And then if we divide by 2 on both sides, we have y equals uh, negative 6 over 2 is going to reduce nicely to just negative 3x plus, and now 8 over 2 reduces nicely to simply 4. And so now that this is in slope-intercept form, we can clearly see that our slope, m, is negative 3. So let's go ahead and put our second equation into slope-intercept form and take a look at its slope and see what we have. So 21x plus 7y equals 30. And solving for y, we'll go ahead and subtract 21x from both sides leaving us with 7y equals negative 21x plus 30. And now solving for y, we'll divide by 7 on both sides, leaving us with y equals negative 21 over 7 reduces nicely to negative 3x. And 30 over 7, we'll go ahead and leave that as a fraction, as 30 over 7. And here we can clearly see that our slope is again negative 3. And since both of these equations have the same slope, you'll remember from the beginning of question number eight, that review video, we talked about when two equations, two lines, have the same slope, the lines are said to be parallel. And so that is the case here. These two lines are parallel if we were to graph these on a rectangular coordinate plane. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at number 10 and see what we have. All right, again, two equations, same direction, so let's get into it. So we have y plus 19 equals negative 4x. And again, I'll go ahead and write our slope-intercept form up here at the top. So y equals mx plus b. Well, if we want to solve for y, we don't have much work to do here. All we're going to do is just subtract 19 from both sides. So we have y equals negative 4x, now minus 19. And now that we're in slope-intercept form, we can clearly see our m, our slope, is negative 4. So let's go ahead and see what this second equation has in store for us. So we're given 2y equals 6x minus 15. And now we're going to go ahead and solve for y by dividing by 2 on both sides. And that's going to leave us with y equals 6 over 2 reduces nicely to 3 x minus and then 15 over 2. Now that it's in this y equals mx plus b slope intercept form we can see that our slope is 3. And if we compare these two slopes we have a negative 4 and a positive 3. So they are opposite with respect to the sign. One is positive, one is negative, but they're not reciprocals of each other. And so since they don't meet uh, the opposite reciprocal criteria these lines are not perpendicular. These slopes are not the same, so they're not parallel, and so our only option then is neither. So if we were to graph these lines again on a, on a coordinate plane, rectangular coordinate plane, we would see that these two lines, while they do intersect, they are not parallel nor perpendicular, and so we would say that these two lines are neither.